So <coughs> I've been wanting to do it uh, with races uh, for a really good part. Yes, uh, I was the one who initiated initiate the migration from PBS to Oracle to uh, ReadyDB. But uh, the last five years, uh, I believe you can see, has focused on SkySQL migrations and not really focus. No, no, we are back uh, on track again and uh, I'm working with several different companies, plans to, plans to migrate different databases to ReadyDB. We see there's a big demand for it. So what I want to talk about is basically the goals related for different databases. Uh, and uh, we will not talk about uh, DB2 uh, because we haven't started one yet, but I envision that by the end of the year we will have a lot of work, new features in my DB to make migration for DB2 very easy. So why do we take from MariaDB uh, or to make MariaDB? Okay, so we are fully open source. Uh, all of our processes, we are very visible. We we'll make everything um, clear, is it right? And anybody can be part of the process in spite of where you are. So you can, it's as easy to develop features in MariaDB if you're an external company or if you're in foundation or you are in ADP PLC. So uh, that, we talk about openness, this is a quite big contrast for how things are here in Boston, where the process of uh, uh, selecting talks are done by a secret panel who really doesn't want to tell who they are or why they do decisions. That's why we are in this room and not in Boston. So, uh, in general, uh, when we done migrations, uh, the customers pay about 20% uh, of what they've been paying before when going to using commercial databases. So there's a big incentive to go to us, and we see a lot of drives in companies that the next database they will choose will be open source because they don't want to be uh, hold the hostage by commercial databases and enclose those commercial databases. Who just increases uh, licenses uh, every year? So we are supported in all major distributions. We do a lot of work to ensure that each MariaDB version works on every operating system and CPU that we can that we get access to. So we support uh, uh, Max. We support uh, um, some power uh, power pieces. Uh, IBM mainframes, anything that we have access to. And we also try to do every build on lots of different compilers, uh, Clang, GCC, uh, Intel compiler, and so on. Yeah. But it has probably the best application support among all databases. You can do things that nobody can even, or the database can even dream about. You can do things, stars, uh, uh, we have Galera, so we can use your. High availability uh, cluster where you can update everywhere and so on. And uh, with the great pride of making it easy to upgrade. I hate uh, the pain of upgrading. Every time I have to upgrade an uh, application or something as the newer version or operating system, there's always hassle to it. So uh, when I started with my SQL a long, long time ago, I tried to make it trivial to upgrade. And with MariaDB, you can take MariaDB 5.0 uh, and first MariaDB and upgrade it directly to the latest that you just heard, without any change. Sometimes uh, there is some config option that we have forgot to add, and somebody has to delete it, but that's basically we try to ensure that that is. Yeah. Supports uh, for all language programming languages are secure. We have a encryption for the rest and apply. Uh, we also try our best to do, don't do any um, incompatible format changes, so just to be able to do the upgrades easier. So you can always upgrade forward, not backwards, because we want to do change. For example, if encryption was added lately. 
course, you can't take an encrypted database backwards in time. So when, when I start or work with migration uh, project with potential customers, the goal is, from, from my point of view, is that uh, we should try to strive so the application can run unchanged with MariaDB. So we try to do uh, changes in MariaDB to support the syntax of the database that they are coming from instead of trying to do lots of changes in the application. Sometimes we have to do some small changes, but over time we try to do in this way because that means that usually a customer has a lot of applications in Oracle DB2 or somewhere. We start by migrating one and then we do changes. That means that the next application is much easier to operate. If you would do a change in application, every migration would be a big effort. And there's lots of companies that does a lot of money for doing migration just because they do everything from start. We don't. Okay, so the from migration of different databases. Uh, a lot of databases, the new and old are, are ANSI or somewhat ANSI. And uh, we also have ANSI, so usually it's uh, quite easy to migrate from those. DB2 is very ANSI, <coughs> same thing with Postgres. And as long as you support the features, uh, then uh, you basically dump and store and it should just work. So the migration process. Uh, for going from this is that uh, we are, I really like SQL lines. It's a really excellent product that allows you to compare that uh, the queries that you have in your application doesn't work with different databases. And we are working with SQL lines to ensure that it's uh, up to date with the latest features on MariaDB. <coughs> so, so you can just uh, get a copy, either downloading or uh, uh, buying one, and then run it against the, the general log or whatever you have in your database. And then you can see which features uh, is needed. So when I go to a customer or work with a customer, the first thing we do is get an example of the queries, run these the lines, and then we work from there to see which order should we implement the features that the customer needs. And then we can be uh, enhanced MariaDB, then we just dump the database, install it in MariaDB, and if there is any change in the application, which you try to keep the minimum, those have to be done. And then we just test and adjust to it. So when it comes to MySQL, after MySQL 5.7, there is, in most cases and in, in, both, and in, pra in practice, MariaDB is uh, a drop replacement. Drop and that you will see. Uh, they, they, so basically, we can install MySQL, install MariaDB 10 or 5 or newer, run MariaDB upgrade, and then you test it. And MariaDB can be a slave form in a replication scenario for MySQL 57 if uh, you just change, ensure that the native passwords, you use the native password algorithm, it's called passwords, and, uh, and you don't have a JSON type. If you have a JSON type in a database, you should just convert it to a uh, text. My scale works great in JSON as text. A little bit slower with that. Because when we replicate the, the convert the binary object sent uh, to MariaDB, and we can't handle, of, can handle that uh, binary object alive, we can handle that in upgrade. So then if you upgrade the JSON objects to MariaDB, that works. But if, if there's a, a demand for this, we could implement it. Yeah. So if anyone wants to, there was nothing. So the migration on Oracle, so that Oracle has a quite different syntax. It's not even close to ANSI. So we have a have, have a way to change um, uh, the YAC, is doing the parsing by, by saying it, uh, Oracle, and then we have a Parse and then large supports a large subset of Oracle. And um, DBS has some 500 applications running on 4,000 servers. Uh, we have been able to run all those applications with the 
కారే పదిహేను డిగ్రీలు అండ్ సైన్స్ అండ్ ఎవరి థింగ్ హ్యాపీస్ క్యాపిటల్ యూ ఈస్ చేంజ్ దేట్ బి సి జాబర్ డ్రైవర్ సో doesn't that doesn't mean that we have all syntax but we have big part of syntax and for every migration we do we get more and more features so that so and everything is open source so everybody benefits and it gets easier and easier to do migration from work so most of your other confuses can, can you read this back here ago okay so then i don't really need to read uh uh repeat but uh, Most of the features was added in level <coughs> three, and we have talked about the Oracle syntax of stock series, curses, loops, variables, exceptions, a lot of things. And the hardest one is actually that anybody using Oracle that now is empty string, and uh, sometimes it behaves like now, sometimes behaves up something else. That's really really hard to emulate. But we did. We have an option. with a square mode and it's one by the four with Oracle that uh, behaves in most cases like Oracle. And uh, when we implemented that, we thought that maybe that's a good workaround. But at least DBS, for the DBS, it was good enough. We haven't got any problems with now that's the next case. We also added sequences, which are uh, my square mode. And uh, um, In 10.6, uh, Mokritech gave us some, some features that they had added for their customers. So I went through them, I <laughs> optimized some of those to make them uh, even better. They did a really good job, but they had missed a couple of things. Special for Robert Ronan, which is really, really strange about it. But we have, uh, for all practical purposes, we have a really good emulation of Robert Ronan. So this is instead of me, so you may just say, go down. Less than 10, then you get the first tenor. <coughs> and, and, and in Oracle, it doesn't work in all places. It only works in certain places. And we have tried to ensure that MariaDB, for all rational places, works. And my business is that accept that. And as I said, as part of migrations, we work to and more features. I haven't done any um, uh, migration from SQL Server yet. Uh, we had some interest and uh, I would really like to do that. So uh, that means that we don't have that many features, but we just, to have a start, we added a SQL mode SQL Server, and then we have, we have no support in that mode, we're supporting the uh, quotes that, uh, or the, Raises that SQL Server uses instead of hash, which is kind of strange because uh, um, SQL Server and SQL come from Sybase, and Sybase was very answer. I don't know why they, when or how they changed the code. It doesn't really make any sense because that just makes it harder to migrate to and from SQL Server. But maybe that's what Microsoft wants. We don't know. So if you are a company who wants to migrate, you should work with MariaDB developers so that they can help you migrate, enhance single lines, enhance their MariaDB to provide what your application needs. So we usually start by, uh, if you're interested, you should contact MariaDB.c and we will then work on Helping understand the SQL and what the process is. My intention is that for, um, for free, we can tell you that these are the things that need to be done and give you timetables for those. Everything will be an open ended. So that means that it's very easy for everybody who wants to be great to get the cost beforehand and also the time. <laughs> So there will be a DBS uh, talk uh, later, uh, later, so I, uh, but basically, since the 2017, <coughs> we have migrated 8% of the Oracle applications, uh, 
And but the one thing I found really interesting. So when I started working with them, I thought that we should start creating a couple of small ones just to be able to show them it works and able to be ones. But they said that no, it doesn't work. We have to work here at EDS. So they took the biggest, most <coughs> complex application and told me this is what we need to figure it first. So I didn't ask them why this doesn't make any sense. But they said that we you know that there's throwback within the organization that they will tell us that Maria we will not work for this one and that our application is so hard. It's impossible to do that. But if you start to be creating this one, all uh, nobody can say that our application is hard because we start with hard stuff. Mm-hmm. That kind of work. But when uh, that created, it took us about uh, eight months, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. After that, all of the other application was just transformed mm-hmm. without being a turbulence. At least, as I before. And uh, they also told me that uh, Maria Divi had been more, more performant for Oracle. Oracle, but uh, that's not only because Maria Divi is uh, doing it in the Curtis good and we do it the best we can, but we also had the benefit that uh, with uh, Oracle, because of the Oracle licensing, upgraded the hardware really, really expensive. So when they upgraded to Maria TV, you could actually use the saving by also, I must do a hardware. But the end effect was that they got something that was much better than I had before achieved. And we have had a couple of really complex uh, queries that has been a bit slower. We are working on that. And I done a lot of work in my EDB LF at zero to improve the optimizer to be able to handle things that we couldn't do before. We still have still some work to do there. Basically, Maria DB. Same as my SQL, also the data. They're really good with star schemes, you know, one big database, and then there are lots of tables that you are fetching data from while you're scanning the big one. And um, but we are not good at the case that you have two big tables, uh, and then you, they are not connected directly, but there are some other tables who are then connected, and then those are connected to that one. The optimizer can handle it. And then very few are open source databases. Even a few commercial can have it. But that's something that we would like to look at sometimes in the future. And I also visit the uh, US a couple of times a year to ensure that they are happy and to see that uh, do they need any new, new features? US drive a lot of development in Marine because they have high demands and they say, say that no, we need this and this and this. And not, there's not only features more. So it's also in general that helps the banks stay with them. So uh, what did we, we use it in BDS is that they use a money to be enterprise, I would say the biggest difference from communities and enter, enterprise is that we have a long life cycle of cycles. We have increased that to eight years, and my vision is that we should have uh, <coughs> Unlimited uh, life of the enterprise because big enterprises they really really hate to upgrade. If something is running for five years, eight years, ten years, twenty years, and the hardware is still stable, why should we upgrade? And we will be able to uh, support them in that. We have got, uh, a little bit of Galera. They they were they were the one who drove the development of the S3 storage engine in MariaDB. Allows us to have data in the stream and share that uh, very easily with lots of servers. They're using MaxScale a lot. A lot. Um, MaxScale actually, we will change the license to MaxScale to be much more free. We already did a decision with us to work on that one. We also were uh, you know, selling MaxScale uh, uh, <coughs> as a separate product, not expensive. so. If you want to use max scale in some other installation, you can you know, get it without having to take a MariaDB support again. And we also are trying to use max, enhance max scale to make it easier for, for customers to upgrade. So uh, 
the biggest issue DDS has had over the years is that they have had um, poor uh, upgrade because of angle life, for example. We usually test things for half a year before they do an upgrade. It also means that adding new features that they didn't want to have quick is hard for us because they have, they have a constant of demanding a really high up. So what we are doing is that we enhance adding multiplex and copy workload and compare to max scale. So that you can put, for example, you have a master and then you, and then you have a slave. You can put max scale between the master and the slave and have and another slave, for example, for my, uh, my ADB 11 zero. And the max scale will send all queries to both slaves and then compare the result. Uh, <coughs> And this allows us to see that we get the same result, um, and uh, and we can also compare times. So we can basically verify that uh, will the application work better when you are. So that's for me. So <coughs> we are, you know, have a team who do the works constantly with integrations, and here's some. Integration features that are just working on that is done or almost done or will be done shortly. So we are extremely different packages, uh, the prototype, and something that should excite people is that we now have an array data type that you can use in storm series. When you stop come to MySQL compatibility, um, when you when migrating from SQL 5.7 and, and and there were still some issues some some time ago that still was hard because the JSON binary format was different and we fixed that in 2021 so that it would be updated automatically converted to the new format. Um, SQL 5.6 and 5.7 added a new way to store partitions that was compatible. We have a really good uh, So last year, actually, I should do it in the tree. The middle of last year, I fixed that so we automatically convert the earlier versions to ours. And there are some uh, new MySQL features in the development development or for help with migration to MySQL. So we have a, we're working on a tool to automatically take. My scope configuration file and change it so it um, works, works for my SQL or my ADB. Because that's part of the first thing in integration. First, you have to fix the config file. The tool is already ready, available as a pull request. We just need to do a review on it, which I did last week as part of the integration effort that we did with our dear guinea pig. And we find all the things that we need to do. So, um, but next. Sometimes next week, I hope that we will have that available uh, to put into the release. Uh, um, we also are, are working on creating a tool that automatically will check that uh, um, is the syntax that is used compatible to MariaDB. Basically, if you take a MariaDB parser and create it in a tool, then you can run it on a MySQL general file and it will give you errors for any syntax. Can support. And in most cases, the difference is the syntax. And then we can, for the customer, we can add that syntax to the ADB. That will make migration from us very easy. Um, Lateral tables is something that also people wanted. We actually started the project uh, last week. So we have a developer assigned to it. So the developer work, start working on that within a couple of weeks. And we, we should have that. No, within a few months. And also, one of the issues that we made from MySQL is that if you have the SHA password our algorithm that's not compatible with it, but we have a variety, so you have to change the password uh, to the MySQL native password. But we have plan to add the SHA password for it to variety just to make the integration for MySQL easy. Without Having, you have it to change password. 
I can skip these slides because uh, that will be discussed tomorrow. And uh, we also, uh, we are going to, as part of this migration effort, we are going to uh, extend the noise recommendation next week. Next week, with step by step instructions to do migrations from different uh, configurations. So, we already have a, a documentation done for uh, the the migration that we're going to show in some minutes, where basically replicate, change some of the replication faster. <coughs> Single server is easy, and uh, the core nights will be faster, that will also be discussed tomorrow. And I think that. Uh, and uh, the, the rest is about what we have done uh, as part of this migration, so I will continue after we have done the live.